<laughs> Honestly, most of the prayers we offer to God are noise. He doesn't listen. That is the truth. In fact, as for my church, by the grace of God, oh, but I won't lie to you. I won't Charlie. raise your hopes. Fake, these fake hopes we raise, they don't do anything. Instead of clapping and shouting at Satan, we are clapping and shouting at God. Can you imagine you are standing in front of your father? School fees so old, school fees. <laughs> You understand my point? I know. So I... most of the prayers we offer to God are wrong. You offer it to the situation. They woke him up. Carries thou that we perish. Can't you see the storm? He got up. Hey, peace be still. He didn't say, God, please <laughs> set out the storm. Charlie. By then he was not Christ though. Hmm. He was Jesus, capital son. Not the son of God. By hmm. then he was an ordinary man like you and I. He said, peace be still. And it was so. The wind obeyed. He mm. got to the city of Gadara. He didn't say, God, I cast these demons out. No. So most of the things we do, we are just disturbed. And he wouldn't do it. He's a God of order. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for sharing this. <laughs> How did we get here? So let's go back to the village. <laughs> exactly. Let's go back to the village. <laughs> so now you have come to Accra because your father got saved. Uh, I was around. actually born in Tema. You're born in Tema. Yes, we were all born in Tema. My dad was doing well. The mistake he did was that, you see, when he became born again, mm. He thought that was all. Mm. Meanwhile, there is an idol allocated to him to serve. So that's the same idol that killed him. Hey. Yeah. And that is another mystery I'll share maybe some other time. How I prayed, we all prayed, and he still died. Why didn't God answer? I'll show you <laughs> one day. There are mysteries in this kingdom. Mm. I may paraphrase it, but it is deep. Wow. How did they kill him? The person who killed him keeps on sacrificing all the time towards his death. We too were praying. You can't use prayer to cancel sacrifice. So. Mm. No, 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 no. Don't try that. How do you mean? Can you break that down small? God created the heaven and the earth through prayer. But to redeem it back, he didn't pray. He sacrificed. Mm. Jesus was sent as a sacrifice. Why? Because Satan also sacrificed to get the world. So... If somebody is fighting you on the altar of sacrifice, don't go and bow at the altar of prayer. You die. The prayer also, prayer always will carry you and go and bury you. Pe, pe, pe. Don't try that. Mm. Yeah, that is why a witch who knows how to sacrifice can kill a holy man of God who doesn't know how to sacrifice. When you say sacrifice, how do you mean? For the, for the man of God. There are a lot of men of God who what they, pract what they preach, they don't practice. Mm. They are they are for themselves Melchizedek. Mm. They don't pay tithe to anybody. They don't sacrifice. Mm. They don't give. They are only receivers. You will die soon. Oh wow! Yeah. If God gives, that's why nobody can kill him because he's giving to look at seven point over seven billion people. God gives life every day. Who can kill him? Mm. So the the greater and bigger you're giving, the more your lifespan. That's the secret of God. God is a giver. That's why he can die. That's why nobody can defeat him. That's why he can lack. It's a mystery. So if you don't want to lack, so that brings me back to how I became who I am, way back, when I received the call. That's my secret. Wow. Yeah. You know, I was uh, listening to the Archbishop a few days ago, and he spoke about blessing given. That when you give to him, he gives back. You know, and it's beginning to make sense to me. Because that was quite profound. He said, well, you are blessed to be a blessing. You know? And so, when you're hoarding it... That's why God doesn't hoard. So he can have more to give. Hmm. You see, one thing I love about God is that it's not like the Ghanaian constitution. They set it and break it. <laughs> no. God is a student of his word. Hmm. He set the rules. He follows the rules. Ghana police will tell you, when traffic is red, stop. Mm. But they will cross mm. in the name of police car. Some of us, we don't listen to what you say. It's what you are doing that we watch. <laughs> wow. And that is the nature of God. Yeah. God obeys his own word. So everything God is asking you to do, he does. So it's a privilege to do it. To be like him. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> know you know that ye are gods. Mm -hmm. Be like God. Give. Forgive. Love. Protect. 
Life is like a farm or a garden. You always reap what you are sowing. If you want smiles, sow smiles. If you want money. I remember when, um, after my father, okay, let me go back to the story so, <laughs> so we don't digress by the grace of God. When my dad gave birth to all of us, he didn't really understand this mystery that I understand now. Mm. So, in fact, he, he lost a lot of things. So we moved from Tema now to Ashaiman. And when we got to Ashaiman, it was actually struggle, struggling all, all through. My mom had to leave Ashaiman to Hohoe. That's where she started working. Mm. So I was with my dad. And unfortunately, he backslided again. So it's uh, wife after wife. So my father actually had five wives mm. and few girlfriends by the, grace of, <laughs> by the grace of God. So we are actually 10 in number. Whoa. And I'm the second born, first boy, second born. Ten yeah. children. Yeah. So I'm the first boy by second born. Mm. So one of the reasons why I don't put on weight is that I have a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of people I'm taking care of oh, by the grace wow. of God. Yeah. So um that's where we started. So at the age of five I left a shaman to Hohwe to be with my mom. Because my dad everything was messing up. He didn't know that it was forces from darkness that he had to fight. So he stopped going to church from way back. By the time I was five years old, my dad stopped going to church. He never believed in the man of God again. He was living his own life. All kinds of things set in. So um, he was somebody who had his own house in Tema. But he sold, he sold everything and he wants to relocate. And that's one of the things demons can do. They can manipulate you to do things against your own wish. Mm. Yeah. He sold everything, squandered the money now. We had mm. to live in. Um, some of the things, when I remember, I felt like crying. Ow. And Tabo dying. And then Chance dying. My day moving. Mm. Yeah, my dad. With all my stepmom and my dad was so anointed, eh? He's the only man I've ever seen live in the same house with two wives. They never quarreled. <laughs> my, my dad was really. I tell you, yeah. But it was all you know, pressure and watch it. Yeah. So I lived in a shaman. I love my dad so much that um, when we, any vacation, I want to be in a shaman. So, but when I, my mom also doesn't like me coming to a shaman because he knows the condition there. Mm. And what the area we're living actually is called Tutu Lai. Mm. Ask anybody who has lived in a shaman. That's yes. prostitute. Yeah. Tutu is prostitute, yeah. prostitute, right? So every house there, we have prostitutes in there. There are some that go out, some the, people, the men come in. And where we were living, the men come in. Oh, boy. So you can imagine the things I learned way back when I was growing up. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I still have exposure. I'm telling you. Exposure. Says. And my mom was the strong type of stunt Christian. So she was raising us. And my dad actually, when he... Go, but because he was born again before he, he gave birth to me or let's say all of us you know he actually named me after a prophet oh okay my dad named me after william marion braham so that's where i got there oh i see let me tell you a mystery about my name okay there is nobody in my family called william Adair williams i'm the first Adair williams i created it myself oh. the name is actually Adair. okay okay yeah because my grandpa is kwaji and the family name is Adair. that is the aquasi day festival so that's our name so I'm taking you back to the village matter. Okay. So the Akwesi Day is that's our name. So that is the name of the idol. Hmm. So later I said no, I don't want to have anything to do with them. So I changed it to. So now I had three Christian names. I was now Joshua, William, Marion. My dad wanted me to add Abraham, and I said you'll be last name. I said no, I want you to be like that man. So later when I grew up, I said okay, let me pick the William. Go and add it to that day. Make it Adele Williams. And then keep the Joshua and Marion. So that's how my name came oh, about. Oh, I see. Joshua, Marion, Adele Williams. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to, you know, okay, disconnect a little from right. the family background. So we went to Hohoe. Let me continue the story. We went to Hohoe from class six. They're about growing up. But I realized that anytime I hear someone is sick, I don't feel comfortable. Mm. I asked my mom, where's the person? I want to go and pray for the person. So my oh, mom allowed really? me to go and pray for the person yeah, way back when I was sick. I used to see flashes of things, but I didn't really understand what it means. That is also that also taught me the impact of names. You know, William Abraham was a prophet. Yeah, he was. That taught me impact on names. So my mom says that when I come back to the house, I can sit in the room, I'll sing the whole day. Mm. My sisters also started growing up. We started doing the same thing on and on just service i'll say i'll do song ministration we don't have drums we don't have anything but i join and we do the song ministrations and everything so that's how i started growing up growing up then um senior high i attended hawaii secondary school okay yeah that one was even something else 
I got my grades all right, got my first choice, second choice, third choice, but no fees. Mm -hmm. So I went to SS Revision Week. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you pass that exams? I passed. B C I passed. I got first, second, third choice. But okay. I didn't get uh how do you call it? My first choice. I went to my my third choice. Even the headmaster had to see my results. Hmm. I said, Where is this boy? They say he has not been to school. They traced and my mother went there and he said, You know what? Bring him, I'll pay for him. So it was my headmaster that paid for my fee. So I went to school revision week. And that exam actually I passed. Yeah, that's what I was Okay, asking. I passed. <laughs> passed. passed. Hey, passed. really? How, how is that? Oh yeah, Shark Bow. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Revision really, with power. Revision, I'm a cool school. I'm a joining school. By God's grace, I passed.